Hello, it's been a little while since I've done one of these. I'm going to make a New Year's resolution for 2024, this being the last one of 2023, to write these out because they have a tendency to be way too long and I meander. And if I'm following a script, I can uh, be much more on point and probably you will make it through the video more likely. Uh, I've been feeling this since over the holidays a very profound, very profound sense of sadness and loneliness. I've felt this way um, a great deal throughout my life, so I'm used to it. It's kind of like a familiar um, blanket, you know. And all this to say, I, I, I still have a tremendous amount of love and support and things, but just 2023 was the year of profound endings. Uh, no deaths yet, although um, I feel that perhaps those are coming in the next while. Um, with respect to particularly some of the elderly people I, I hold most dear, but that is, of course, the cycle of life. Unfortunately, um, thanks to new people, we can't. Uh, can't live forever. Imagine how overpopulated the planet would be then. See, and here I am getting distracted already at 90 seconds in counting. I want to encourage you to um, meditate. And for me, that simply means to sort of close your eyes and let it all happen. I, I see mostly positive things in my visualizations. Occasionally, um, negative things come up, but I I let them pass. There seems to be a particularly troubled man uh, smoking a cigarette, uh, but uh, maybe he was more troubled by himself than me. And uh, these are just, you know, things you sort of keep your eyes shut, but I often see these you know, wonderful colors. And there was a, a lovely uh, blue candle flame to encourage me. And after the meditation, I recovered uh, much of the, or not much, a bit of the joie de vivre that I had acquired over the past uh, two and a half years, you know, just enough to like keep me going and keep me, keep me through. And they say that if you've had psychosis that you uh, shouldn't meditate, or some people say that. And uh, for me, that's not been the case at all. You know, once I... Uh, uh, well, and I was actually scared for a while after being well, you know, I, I heard voices before, like, what if that starts happening again, right? Uh, it hasn't happened. So, and, and in my case, my psychosis was incredibly um, sleep deprivation induced, and perhaps a little bit um, of that was aided by stress and THC. So, I don't, um, I don't imbibe the latter anymore. It's not part of my life. It hasn't been for some time. But hey, if it helps you, still we do. But maybe be careful if you were born in with a traumatic brain injury, <laughs> just in case, you know. Um, so I guess what I want to talk about a little bit is that I think, and I had mentioned this, I don't know if I put up, I believe I put up the poem on my videos of, title 2023, and I said that it was going to be a big year, and it, and it was, and I said that it was going to be a year that you kind of would reap what you've sown, like, you know, if you just kind of sat around twiddling your thumbs, then not much would happen, but if you, if you did things, um, then those would bear fruit. That, that's how I felt. I think I wrote it as late as April 2023, but now, uh, I feel going into 2024, that 2024 is going to be even bigger, um, if, uh, you know, personally and, and for the world. And um, I think in, in, in one of those ways that, uh, you know, like even if you do sort of sit around and twiddle your thumbs the whole time, obviously you won't in, enjoy um, the results as much as somebody who's been, uh, you know, doing their best or, or, or something like their best. But I, but I think that, that um, big things, positive and negative, are, are going to happen even if you're just sort of a spectator to them. But I would encourage you to not 
uh, be a spectator. Obviously, if you're ill or something, you need to take rest. And I have certainly taken rest this uh, holiday week. I have so many blasted uh, hobbies and things. It's funny, um, you know, being suicidal for many, many years of my youth and then always sort of a little bit dipping back into adulthood. Um, not in the same way, but could never sort of get fully clear of it. Uh, I, I don't feel that way uh, right now. It, you know, it, I feel kind of bleak at times, but um, my biggest concern is that I may um, expire, you know, before I've accomplished all my goals. And at least for now, um, those are finite, uh, some mundane, some pretty big. So I mentioned this before, I, I had been sort of refurnishing my home uh, with with, you know, Marketplace and Kijiji and, you know, donations um, since 2014. And I have been uh, very close to finishing. I, I can't find the right dining table. Um, I, I bought one by accident, it's not good enough. And I bought a glider chair that is behind me that you can't really see in the... No, I can't, I can't get out of the way, it's not comfortable. Um, that recliner there, that was for sex and I love it. That's my, that's the captain's chair where I always sit. Um, and I just, I've, I've started, um, getting rid of a lot of my, my junk. So I'd like to sw switch up that glider for another, uh, recliner and have a better dining table. And then this like 10 year project is finished, um, along with, you know, getting rid of the junk. Uh, the other thing that I've been, uh, always wanting to write a book. I, of course, I made this film and, uh, you know, the last two years have been all about promotion and it's still ongoing. Um, thank God I got some help with that because it was really uh, becoming manageable and it has been uh, much more manageable the last few months. Promotion will be done in 2024 and uh, I, I think I will be able to move on to the next big chapter in my life and I think that is writing a book. Meanwhile, I, you know, I still want to be continuing my truth telling series, uh, the combination of spoken, I don't like to say it, choking, spoken, smoking prose poetry and sit down stand up is only I can deliver. And, uh, you know, but the book um, that I want to write it is a memoir. Um, but it is also prescriptive in the sense that, you know, I want to make some suggestions of uh, what we ought to do, you know, in, in terms of, and, and not in a puritanical sense, but in a, in a decency sense, um, you know, because climate crisis is a big deal, you know, it threatens our existence as a species, um, the war capacity threatens our existence as a species, um, I think what's going on in the Middle East is, is, is terrible. It's kind of always bad, but um, the events of October 7th and the fallout and all the results of that, I think, are catastrophic until some really strong leaders get in over there and just say, look, like, stop on both ends. It's never going to stop. And I fear that the conditions over there are only going to worsen and draw more countries in and please we do not want a world war with uh, we never want a world war but we don't want a world war with the destructive capacity that be disastrous and I, I think like this is not what we are supposed to be as a species we're supposed to grow and learn and, and you know we become better and more loving as we go through our journeys so the book if I ever to manage it will be some suggestions about that, how we can do that both in small and large ways and how um, our policies need to be about care as opposed to uh, conquest, you know, and I, I think that's a really thing to try to do. And um, I think I want to leave this pretty soon, but I'll leave you with, so, what I do in my meditation, I just kind of let things happen. But one thing that I do, I send out 
on the seven pillars of Josh. This is my religion. If, if you want to uh, follow my ways, come up with your own perhaps. But the things I focus on are love, peace, joy, liberty, prosperity, and truth. I have six pillars, but I, I, I put truth in there because I think my, my, my greatest virtue, um, it is certainly not patience and tolerance, uh, but it is honesty as much as I am possibly able to. And, it, you know, it, it, honesty is not about uh, being blunt all the time. It, it, it sometimes is, but I, but, um, and I know sometimes I do call people out for, for doing things that I think are, um, unfair and bigoted uh, selfish and I will continue to do that that does not stop you know if, if you are exploiting people um, and continue to do so without changing course I, I will never stop that but uh, you know I think sometimes honesty is about you know you not you don't have to um, deliver the truth like a hammer you know it can be more like a uh, try to be more of a gentle nudge. So, yeah, the seven pillars of Josh. I'll just repeat that one more time: love, peace, joy, liberty, prosperity, health, and truth. And those are the things that I try to focus on and send out to everybody, all beings, myself um, as well. Those are things we all deserve, and I think those are things we all need to be happy um, and live our best lives. And so I encourage you to live your best life in 2024. Okay, I'm going to stop doing these off the top of my head. Next time will be a script. Happy New Year.